company um, was formed a number of years ago, but actually IPO'd in May 2011, looking at um, a very large sedimentary basin just north of Perth called the Dandaragon Trough, where with a very large deposit of glauconite. Our, our objective is to look at that uh, deposit with the, um, to extract um, potash, um, but also phosphates, some aluminium sulphate and some other minerals. Uh, at the IPO we had two objectives, uh, one to get a chalk resource and two to develop a flow sheet for the extraction of those minerals and then put uh, apply that to the chalk resource and sort of do a, a, a financial model. We achieved both of those early this year. The area we've, we've ended up looking at in, in a fair bit of detail is called the uh, Dinner Hill area, which is basically on the northwest of the basin, um, around about the Dandaragon area, a bit north of there. Um, at Dinner Hill, we um, got a jork resource announced in October of about 120 million tonnes of high-grade glauconite, and, and that was what was used to underpin the scoping study. Since that time, we've done some further drilling and the independent expert geologists have uh, declared the potential for an exploration target on that Dinner Hill area of well over a billion tonnes, some of whom one and one and a half billion tonnes, which is about 10 times greater than our current Jork resource. In addition to that, about 40 kilometres south of Dinner Hill, an area called Dambaji, we intersected some very thick, um, high-grade seams of green sands. Whereas in Dinner Hill, we've got about eight metres of uh, high-grade material and about three to one overburdened wall ratio. At Dambaji, it's about 60 metres thick with less than one to one um, overburdened wall. So it's potentially a very large deposit down there. And all of that work really goes to um, saying that this resource in the Dandaragon Trough will be very, very big and underpin an operation for many, many years. We've got a chalk resource at Dinner Hill of about 120 million tonnes, and we um, developed a flow sheet to extract the, the minerals from that. The capital and operating costs were independently estimated by Bateman Engineering and the marketing study for the products was done by CIU, two respected independent uh, experts in their fields. That, that study showed a, a quite a strong project generating over $200 million a year of free cash for over 60 years based on that small Denner Hill resource. So we're very confident that um, Ultimately, this project will grow to be a much larger project, um, feeding the world for uh, many decades to come. The next stage for the company is to do a pilot plant to run this process on a continuous basis to get better engineering data, which will allow us to do a pre-feasibility study. Um, we're in the process of um, doing the design work for that uh, and if things go to plan we should be completing that by the end of 2014. Western Australia imports all of its potash and phosphate needs uh, and Australia imports all of its potash, mostly from um, Canada but the other major supplier in the world is um, Eastern Europe. The a similar situation exists in um, Indonesia, Malaysia and India, so there's no domestic production of um, potash and, ver and very limited phosphate. So um, the Dandaragon Trough project will always have a strong logistics advantage over um, products coming from um, Canada in the case of potash or North, America, uh, North Africa rather in the case of phosphates. So we will, um, we see the company developing a strong local market within Western Australia and then also going on into Southeast Asia.